Question 26. The table below shows the melting and boiling points of four substances A to D. For questions involving melting and boiling point, we can draw a number line like this. And I'm going to indicate the melting point and the boiling point on the number line. Now, what is the state of matter before the melting point here? Is it in solid, liquid, or gaseous state? Now, matter is in solid state before it melts. And it will melt to form a liquid. And it will stay a liquid all the way until it reaches the boiling point, where it will boil to form which state? Liquid will boil to form the gas. So it will stay in gaseous state above the boiling point. The question is asking for which substance that can be stored in a netted basket at room temperature. Can we store a liquid inside a netted basket? No, it will just flow through the gaps of the netted basket. For the same reason, we cannot store gases inside the netted basket because the gases will just flow through the gaps. Can you store liquids and gases in a netted basket? No, you can't. This is because liquids and gases do not have a definite shape, which is why they can change its shape to flow through the gaps in the netted basket. What about solids? Yes, solids can be stored in the netted basket. But why? Unlike gases and liquids, solids have a definite shape and cannot flow through the gaps in the basket. So we can only store solids inside this netted basket at room temperature. Let's write that down. And we can assume the room temperature to be at 30 degrees Celsius. So what we need to do is we need to look for which substances will be solid at room temperature, which is 30 degrees Celsius. And we do that by inserting 30 degrees onto the number line. Let's start with substance A. Can I insert 30 degrees between 63 and 267 here? No, we cannot do that because the number line is increasing in this direction. So 30 degrees do not fall in that region. 30 degrees is less than 63. So I can only insert it here before its melting point. And what state is A in at 30 degrees? A is in solid state. Now we can repeat the same steps for substance B. Again, let's insert 30 degrees onto the number line for substance B. Now 30 degrees will be between 15 degrees and 84 degrees. And what state is B in at this temperature? Now B is in liquid state. Now for C, 30 degrees is below 90 degrees. And what state is C in at this temperature? Again, C is in solid state. And finally for D, 30 degrees falls exactly on its boiling point. Now remember, what exactly is happening at the boiling point? Liquid is actually changing to gas. So at 30 degrees Celsius, it is possible to find D in both states, in liquid state and in gas state, as the liquid is boiling to form gas. Remember, the question was looking for only solids at 30 degrees. So we have two substances which are solid at 30 degrees, substance A and substance C, giving us the answer as option number one.